Our Matthew Torres talked exclusively to the victim and suspect's family. Matthew, how are they faring? Well, Alexandra, as you can imagine, losing loved ones to murder is tough enough, but witnessing the bloody aftermath takes a different toll. In an exclusive interview, we hear from the relatives who made that gruesome discovery. Her sister, she was an angel of God. She was the sweetest person you'd ever meet. Emotions are high during the lowest moment for Timothy Meadows and his family. Six people were found dead inside the home where his fiance and her kids were raised. Uncle Bubba was that father figure I had growing up. It's like living in a movie. You know, this ain't supposed to happen. Carlotta Kleiner had lost many people, including her brother and sister, but is thankful her mother, Mary Hosell, survived but in critical condition. They pulled my mother out and it was, I didn't even know who the woman was. Timothy was the one who found her alive. Saturday afternoon, the couple went to the house after they couldn't get a hold of Mary. They had to push to get in because of a bed was blocking the door. It was something, you know, you might see it on war scene. I mean, there was blood, there, there, there was last race, there was, it was just awful. It was, it was uncanny. The family chose not to get into any details, but described the horrific scene as unforgettable. I walked in, I seen some stuff that I prefer not to ever have seen in my life. Carlotta's nephew, Michael Cummins, is accused of killing them. They're trying to piece things together, but what they do know was his violent behavior and how they tried to help him. Michael always talked about hurting people or hurting himself and killing people. Michael has a criminal background, including being placed in probation for attacking his neighbor and setting her home on fire. This family says he had a form of schizophrenia. I kind of seen it coming, and we all did. But in a way, we always wanted to dream he'd never go that far, but he did. The family now questions if this could have all been prevented. They claim he was brought to a mental health institution in Nashville, but was eventually turned away for not having insurance. Rory.